Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Ectotron. This is the Ghostbusters 2019 Transformers, more than meets the DI, collaborative figure. Now, there is a comic book that this is pretty much based on. Uh, Ghostbusters Transformers, which is out now by IDW. Um, <clears throat> I picked this up at GameStop for 50 bucks. Uh, not a bad price. They could have probably got away with uh, 30 because there really isn't much to the transformation. I understand that both companies need to make money off of it. Uh, so maybe 40 but I, I think 50 might be right on the threshold of being a little too much. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way real quick. Take a look at the box. Uh, on the box, you see Ectotron here, the Transformer Ecto-1. Uh, you got some slime dripping off of them here. The top of the box shows how to transform them, which as you can see, is not that difficult. Uh, the Transformers, Heroic Autobot, More Than Meets the Eye logo there. And then you got the Ghostbusters Transformers 2019, 35th anniversary of both companies right there. Uh, there's the side view. As you can see, this is, it does look like the vintage Transformers uh, packaging. Uh, there's his little description uh, his function the function of ectotron which is an autobot he's a paranormal investigator when life splatters you with marshmallow goo just go with it when the ghostbusters need a ride to the next paranormal hotspot it's nice to have one who can also handle a proton pack so and there's the stats over on the side here very nice. Uh, Transformers more than meets the eye, 35th anniversary. Uh, Ghost Corpse. Hasbro. GM. So there's that. And there's the bottom. Alright, move that out of the way. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Ectotron real quick. Ecto-1. And as you can see, the wheels do move. It rolls really nice. And you can see it comes with Slimer. This is exactly how he comes in the packaging. Um, well, Slimer doesn't. Slimer comes off to the side. Uh, however, there is a peg on the uh, proton wand here and a hole in the bottom of Slimer. You just peg him on there and he can ride on the top just like that. Not bad. Now, as you can see through this window, I have the hose and everything a little different when putting the Ecto pack, uh, the proton pack back on the Ecto one, and I'll, I'll show you the reason for that here in a minute. But as you can see, very nice. It's got the look of the Ecto one from the movie. Uh, and in the comics, uh, this is not the 1A, this is the Ecto-1. Even though I think they're still pretty much the same vehicle. Uh, I'm not sure why they did 1A <clears throat> on the uh, license plate in the second movie. Um, maybe it's just to differentiate between the two different paint styles. Or decal styles. I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and transform him into the Ectotron. We'll go ahead and take Slimer off. Alright, we'll just set him off to the side there. Now, the first thing you want to do is this hose in the front. Pop that off, just pegs right in there. Take the ladder, unpeg that, and at first this spot, this pegged part right here, uh, it's pretty tight. Uh, you can move it around but it doesn't really come undone that easily. Uh, but you can just unpeg it. Just has a little 
peg there. Set that off to the side because you don't really need that. All right, then come around here. You're gonna untab the proton wand. Set that to the side. Now, <clears throat> this may be different whenever you uh, take it out of the package, but you just unplug from here, 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 and then part of the hose will also be pegged in or plugged in right there. You just unplug it there. All right, and then you just lift up on it and plug, unplug it like that. See, <clears throat> in the packaging, this part here is supposed to be plugged in there like that. And it's supposed to come down like this. It, I've tried it. I've tried putting it like that whenever I transform it back into the Ecto-1. It doesn't look that great because you got this piece here that hangs over the siren. And it, it looks really awkward. It doesn't really look like the packaging or like it's supposed to. So I just, whenever I put it back on, I bring it around like this and bring it under the pack in between those two peg holes. That way, once you peg it back in, these all go in the spots they're supposed to. The, the uh, proton wand will hide like that and you know you got yourself a the topper all right so other than that now what you do move this over to the side it just rotates just like that you bring <clears throat> first things first take the part with the white light here fold it and this will come with it automatically. Then you just bring this up and in. All right. You plug this part right there. Okay. Then you flip it around. There you've got a proton pack. Plug the proton wand in right there, just like that. And now you've got a full proton pack, proton wand. And when it's not holstered, or when it's not being held, the uh, peg that Slimer was sitting on, peg it into the proton pack right there. See, there's a hole right there. Just peg it right in. And you have the full proton pack. Um, <clears throat> You don't really need the ladder that was on the side. Uh, and it's just it's very flimsy, rubbery plastic. Um, there's really no place for it. If you keep it on, that's fine. You can keep it on, but it just it's just gonna hang there when, when he's in trans, uh, robot mode. It's just gonna hang there. So I just take it off. Now, Bring it up like this. Okay. You're going to want to separate the front end. Oh, sorry. Forgot one thing. You open up the sides. They just flip open. And then you bring them up just like that. All right. Flip open. Roll them up. Then you open the front, bring it down like that. Rotate it, just like that. Bring the arms down. And this is the easiest transformation I have seen from a transformer since the G1. All right, once that's done, you unplug the back end Okay, bring it out, which you can either just pull, pull it straight down like that, or you can open it up and then pull it out and close it like that. Either way is fine. Uh, you're gonna bring down the toes 
and then open up right here open up the heel on both sides and then you bring down the front rotate the head close it and then the proton pack is it just it doesn't really peg in it just kind of sits in there this little lip here will go right in there and it sits there it's okay uh, as long as you're not playing with it it'll stay there but it, it's just hanging there all right and now you got to watch it because a lot of times this does like to come undone and that just fits in ectotron's hand like that see it just came undone but it's not a problem we'll plug it back in here in just a second see <clears throat> There we go, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the proton pack back on. See how it just fell off and this unplugged. There, just like that. Now, if you wanna keep the ladder on, you can, since there isn't really anywhere else to do with it other than just kinda of shove it in there. I guess you could shove it in there for right now be fine but there you have ectotron in robot mode okay and we got slimer here we're just gonna sit him on ectotron just like that okay and he, he looks good um, I've been debating back and forth on how I want to display him. If I want to display him as a Transformer and put him with my Transformers collection. Or if I want to display him as the Ecto-1 and put him with my Ghostbusters collection. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to go back and forth on this for quite a while. I'll probably change it up every once in a while. Put him in his robot mode and sit him with my Transformers and then put him back in Ecto mode and put him with my Ghostbusters so but there he is there's Ectotron now <clears throat> I'll show you what I how to change him back into Ecto-1 mode it's very easy the only part that's difficult is the getting the uh, the proton pack back on so let's go ahead and unhook that we'll put that there we'll take the ecto the proton pack back off all right we're going to fold the hand collapse the hands all right and we set them in there that's the easiest oh. and then we rotate it around, open the chest, close the head, close the chest, plug that back in, there, just like that. All right, now open the legs, take the ladder out. Collapse the legs, just like that. Close them. All right, and then we 
and collapse the heel and the toes. Click those back into place. Close the doors. Now, here comes the fun part. Unplug that, fold the proton pack back up, and this part of the proton pack right here, the center cylinder, goes right into that hole. Just like that, all right? And this, as you saw, it automatically folds back out, okay? Bring this part back up, just like that. Now, I'll, I'll show you what I was talking about earlier. You're gonna wanna hold that out while you plug that in. See, it does not like to stay half the time. back in. Now, these two holes are going to peg right in there. And it's a little difficult. You might be able to... Okay, there we go. That that looks okay, I guess. It's still hanging down there in the front, but it is what it is. Uh, the way I like to do it, um, it it's not as visible. There's that. Plug the proton one back in. See what I mean? It's just kind of dangling down there. And if you keep it on the outside, it's just kind of draped over the sirens. That's why I usually put it underneath to where you can only really see it on this side. Because I display them like this. So. And then you take the ladder, plug it in there, and it takes a little bit because I. There, it's pegged all the way in. And then this lip on the ladder, plug in right there. Just like that and a lot of times it doesn't like to stay and then this hose it's made of a very rubbery soft plastic plugs in right there and then we're gonna go ahead and put slimer back up here and there's the ecto-1 in car mode very easy transformation. I I don't like the hose though. Uh, I don't like how they have the hose. Uh, they should have made it a little bit differently so that it doesn't hang down in there. Uh, no matter how you have it, it's always going to look off. Uh, whether you have it sitting on the outside, resting on the sirens, if you got it down like that, plugged in up here or if you have it wrapped around underneath the proton pack, it's gonna be hanging down on this side. Either way, any way you do it, it's not gonna look that great. But overall, this is a pretty good figure. Now let me show you, if you forget to put the toes in, it's still gonna roll, but it's going to kind of drag on the toes, especially if you're holding, doing it from the back. Now, if you're doing it from the front, you got a little bit of clearance, but there's not that much clearance. So don't forget to put the toes in. Otherwise, you're going to wear that paint off of the uh, tip of the toes really easily. So anyway, that was Ectotron from the Transformers Ghostbusters 35th anniversary, uh, which goes along with the IDW comic. Uh, it also, it came with instructions, uh, but 
you don't really need the instructions, but I'll just show you. I'll put them out here so you can see them. Okay, there's the proton pack instructions. And then here's the robot instructions. Feel free to pause it if need be, whenever you need it. Just like that, all right? So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.